hello guys welcome back to my channel study with msa today in this video we are going to discuss short story titled the grief which was written by anton chekhov the other title of this story is the lament after seeing the title one can predict its theme and the major content the grief is a heart touching story of misery and despair it is a story of a horse stage driver ayana potapova who wants to share his grief but he is unable to find any sympathetic listener finally he shares his grief to his sole companion female horse he unburdens his grief with the help of animal this story is a satire on modern world which is insensitive and selfish before starting the summary let's discuss some of the basic details about our writer anton chekhov his full name is anton pavlovich chekhov he was born on 29th of january in 1860 in russia and he died on 15th of july 1904 he is considered one of the great writers of english literature let's see some of his works his famous works includes the lady with the dog which was published in 1899 the student 1894 the darling 1899 the black monk 1894 and the man in a case which was published in 1898 after seeing the details of our writer let's start the summary Let's begin. As said before, the main character of the story is Ayana Potapov. He is a horse sledge driver. He has a horse carriage. It is getting dark. Chekhov describes the shades of darkness everywhere around in a realistic way, heightened by the white snow. We hear a lot of people moving around, but no one is visible in the darkness. He is surrounded by people, but he is alone in his sadness. He takes the passengers from one place to another through his horse carriage, and thus he earns his bread and butter. Ayana is the father of two children, a daughter and a son, living very happy life. But unfortunately, his only son falls ill. He suffers from fever. He has admitted his son in the hospital. His son gets treatment for three days in the hospital, but unfortunately, his son dies away in the hospital. Ayana is deeply moved by this incident. He is shocked for some time and wants to relate this tragic story of his own to someone, but fails. He is in search of a listener to whom he can relate this tragic story. During one winter evening, Ayana is waiting for the arrival of the passengers. The first passenger is an army man. He is rushing to guess his destination. In every way, he is the polar opposite of Ayana. Ayana is elderly and tired. whereas the officer is youthful and vibrant at that time an officer in a military overcoat with a hood over his head comes to ayana he wants to reach to his office ayana is pleased to receive a passenger after his son's death while ayana is overcome with sadness the passenger cracks a joke ayana is lost into his own grief of his son's death so he cannot drive the horse carriage properly on the way he meets with some accidents but yet He wants to talk to the officer about his son's death, but the officer is not interested. After the officer's departure, the second group of passengers are three passengers who are young, have no concern in the world. They are not ready to give enough money for fare, but Ayana thinks that he has got someone to whom he can relate his grief. But these three young men make fun of Ayana and his grief. They also do not pay any attention towards Ayana's grief. Unfortunately, they also leave the carriage when they reach their destination. Ayana is glad to see them joyful, but they cannot notice the old man's sadness. The elderly man Ayana is alone. Ayana's misery is immense, beyond all bounds. With a look of anxiety and suffering, Ayana's eyes search both the sides of the street, but he cannot find anyone who can listen to his grief. One more attempt to speak with a young cab driver fails. Ayana finally finds an unexpected but excellent listener and that is his mare a female horse of his own he relates his grief to his mare his horse to the passive mare he unburdens his emotions he mentions his son's name for the first time he is no more which means he is dead he has gone before him to the grave thus he finds that throughout the story ayana is in search of a person who can listen to his story full of grief but He gets no listener. Finally, Ayana relates his grief before an animal. So this short story ends in this way, but left with a great message to the society. Modern world is an insensitive and inhuman world. 
There is no place for emotions, feelings and sympathy in this modern world. We can share photos, videos, etc. through social media. But it is quite becoming impossible to share our grief, our emotions, our feelings in present world. We are connected with hundreds of people through social media. But our heart and our soul is alone in this world. Our present story grief or lament beautifully depicts these problems with the character of Ayana Potapova. The story satirically depicts selfish modern world. So this is enough for today. If you find something useful in this video, please like and share this video and subscribe our channel for more videos like this. Meet you soon with another informative and useful videos like this. Till then goodbye and take care.